Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today is somewhat a successful day. Uh, despite all my bickering about Linux, I managed to get a Linux environment running with uh, Ubuntu 14.04, which is the current version. Uh, not only that, I've also installed uh, MATLAB on Linux, this version here, as you can see. I'm going to show you what I've accomplished. Uh, this version is somewhat uh, limited on MATLAB, but it does do the main things that I want it to do. So, uh, being here in Linux, this is using VMware uh, Workstation, uh, and uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, first, this is MATLAB 2013A. Um, like I said, it's somewhat limited, but it does include the Simulink and it does include the Simulink Coder. Those are the only things I really care about at this point. Um, so, in a nutshell, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, Simulink. So here's Simulink, you load it up, Simulink, you just type in Simulink in the command window here. And uh, what I did was I created a very, very stupid, simple Simulink model called test sim. Let's load it up. So that's all it is. It just loads in a constant, displays it into a scope. whoop de do. This is just so that we can compile it. Now, when you come under code, uh, I'm still in experimental mode, but this is probably what I'll do anyway, so I don't have to go any beyond this. But when you come under the options, I'm setting up uh, the traditional target. Um, so let me just show you something here. I've got the GCC compiler. Um, so which one is it? It's using 4.082. And uh, the uh, target is just the default, nothing special. Compiling in C language. Now if I use C++, it's going to generate all kinds of errors. I don't know why. And personally, I don't care at this point. All I really cared about was just to be able to build something. That's all I really cared about. So I'm going to do that right here. Uh, here's the main window. Um, and let's just do a build and see what happens. Now off she goes. It's building right here, uh, as you can see, and it's saying successful. Now if I did it within uh, C++, it would bomb. Okay. Now as I said, I don't really care about uh, Simulink personally, um, or don't care about C++, it's just it's like for, for the kind of algorithms I'm wanting to generate, um, I want them to be just as simple as possible. So C is the choice for now. Um, and uh, that's what we have. Okay, so as you can see, the other funny thing is that a, um, a bin file or an executable equivalent in um, Linux is created for me. Uh, let me just see here. All right, so here's the uh, all the files. So this just got created here, um, this test sim. So all I have to do is just run it. And there we go. Nothing in it, and it just displays a starting uh, and created a mat file. That's it. Uh, so everything's kind of running. Uh, now, you might be going, why am I doing this? Well, uh, if I was showing you my experiences with Windows, uh, you go through a lot of pain in uh, maintaining Windows uh, with against viruses and malware, all the parasites that you usually get on Windows, which can become a really burden. Number two, uh, the big reason is as I get closer to developing algorithms and models, for eventual deployment, uh, the idea here is to be able to um, use uh, a remote server. Now, I could also do it on a uh, on my desktop, which is fine, but to be honest, uh, a remote server would be great, especially if it's Linux based, then I could deploy a live trading model into a remote server and then be able to add all the usual Linux security with the tunneling, the SSH, all that stuff that you get with Linux, 
and then be able to uh, properly secure that server with the live trading system on it. And that's the big concern I have with Windows because the one that I've seen with speedy uh, trading servers, uh, it's just the remote desktop and they say, yeah, it's secure. But when it's involving your money and you're funding an account of five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, guess what? That's a number one target for a, a hacker. And I cannot sit here and ever imagine that a hosting provider, I'm not going to say trade speedy is, is or isn't able to properly secure that account with the system attached to it. Uh, I have to make sure that I eliminate all possible risks. So that's the why, reason why I'm using Linux. On top of the other reason, the third reason is speed. Um, with Windows, there's a lot of things like with services and all that that could just dog your system horrendously. You don't have these problems with Linux. C is a nice, simple language, um, and you can develop some pretty cool stuff around that. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's pretty good. Oh, uh, before I forget, let me just show you another demo here. So, I have here the Yahoo's working. I can do a, a fetch on, on, I don't know, IBM. And then, uh, well, yep, so it's in D. So here's D and here's all the latest info on IBM. Uh, and uh, I guess I have to close out that connection just to be good. So um, everything's somewhat working, all the basic stuff, all the, all the awesome horsepower I can get with, um, with with uh, this version of MATLAB as well. And of course I got my mu pad, which is a big deal for me as well because I wanna use that for just generating more uh, uh, advanced uh, algorithms in mu pad, create the MATLAB M function and then drop them into the Simulink model um, as I showed earlier. So that's the basic workflow. Everything seems to be working fine. It's working with C. So the next question is, how do I go about interfacing um, uh, front-end models? Now, what I'm planning to do with that, with GUI or interfaces, is on the Windows side, develop my interfaces in uh, MATLAB for Windows, create uh, the, the, the front-ends <clears throat> with charting and whatever else I want, um, and be able to use guide for that. Uh, the unfortunate part is uh, this particular version with the MATLAB coder does enable me to export those versions of uh, the guide, but I can do it from my um, my Windows and be able to have that as a front end, maybe to these uh, to these uh, algorithms that I'm showing you, or the capabilities as a C file. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe some other ideas popping into my head here as we uh, do this video. But I just want to show you this This is a big breakthrough on the Linux side. You'll be able to do this um, in, in a nice way that the way MATLAB or MathWorks has packaged this particular version. So there you go. Hopefully uh, you enjoy it too. Talk to you later.